So I was just out in the garden and um, the soil is nice and dry. It's still cold outside, but so we're gonna go plant some peas. We're gonna plant the Penelope kind and those are whole peas. And then we're gonna plant some snap peas as well. So the thing that um, we've learned about peas is that um, they need cool weather for their blossoms to set. So here in Iowa, we don't get a lot of spring. We have cold weather and then we have 80 degrees. So you wanna plant your peas early because you want them to be setting blossoms before that 80 degrees hits. Um, that's how you get the best crop of peas. So it's still hit or miss, but it does not hurt peas to be in the ground um, when it's so cold. Um, last year, my peas were already about this tall and we had 26 degrees and I had the best pea crop last year that I'd ever had. So that leads me to think you cannot plant peas too early here in Iowa. Okay. Sometimes I'll get my rototiller out and I'll till everything. I'll use some stakes and some strings and make nice straight rows. And sometimes I'll just take my hoe and scratch um, some loose soil and put my peas in that way. Um, either way works. It just depends on what mood I'm in or how much time I have. And I do the peas and you like that. My rows are straight. So this little cedar um, was given to us as a wedding gift 20 years ago and I've used it every planting season. So this simple little planting machine, you put your seeds in here, you have different um, seed plates. This one says it's for beans and small peas, so we can use this plate. This is what the plates look like. This one's for sweet corn, this one's for beets. Then you just switch out the plates according to the size of your seeds. This right here adjusts for um, depth of seeds. And what's it gonna show? Oh, here. You can see that it's belt driven. So this belt turns the seed plate inside of here. And this chain drags the soil over the seeds. Here we go, we're gonna throw it up with some seeds. Should I go? Okay, you start driving. Here. No, you don't have to push there, here. So we planned our peas in double rows and then once they sprout, we will put some chicken wire fence um, between the two rows and they will climb on the chicken wire and that will be their support.
on the handle of this hoe, I've made a mark um, telling me how far apart to space my rows so that my tiller can fit in between my rows um, to till as the plants get bigger. So this is a couple days later and it looks like there's some rain moving in. So I'm gonna hurry up, plant some lettuce and spinach seeds um, before it rains. Lettuce and spinach also don't mind the cold weather. Um, I'm direct seeding my lettuce and then we will harvest it as cut lettuce. I will plant my seedling lettuce um, a little later. So this is an area of the garden that we had put deep mulch on last summer using grass clippings. So I'm just using my hoe and breaking the surface of the soil to make a nice bed for my lettuce and spinach seeds. Here I'm using the back side of my rake to break up any clumps of soil um, that might prevent the seeds from growing. So I'm planting some Bloomsdale spinach. And then a lettuce leaf blend. So I'm sorry for the noise. The farmer is trying to get some work done in our field before the thunderstorms move in today, which is also why I'm hurry up trying to plant some lettuce and spinach before it rains. This area here I had deep mulch last year. Um, so it should be perfect for some lettuce and spinach. So I'm just gonna sprinkle the lettuce seeds generously in this bed I've prepared. You sprinkle them um, like you would grass seeds. And then you do the same with the spinach seeds. I'm putting the spinach at the end of the bed. Sometimes I sprinkle it in with the cut lettuce, but this time I'm just going to put it at the end of the lettuce bed. Then I just take some soil that I scratch to the side of the bed and lightly cover my lettuce and spinach seeds. This is mostly to keep the seeds from blowing away in the wind or drying out before they germinate. Okay, so we planted the peas five days ago, and I wanna show you what they look like now. So the seeds have burst open and they've sent out a little leaf and a root. So here's another one with a root. one with the sprout and a root. Five days, no water, 
no rain. There's just enough moisture in the soil this time of year for them to sprout. Every gardener is happy when they find worms in their garden. And the raspberries are leafing out. So we've got a broody hen. We put her in this dog crate to protect her from the other chickens. Oh, so, she's plucked all the feathers off of her chest to keep her eggs at the proper humidity and temperature. Is that right, Broody? Meanwhile, the other hens are enjoying scratching around in the meadow for worms and bugs. <laughs> 